We are diving in. This is the fourth week of March. Holy cow, next week is already April. We are already into the second quarter of this year. But so let's talk about the homes that sold this past week of March 20 to March 26, 2021. So the lowest price, folks, was $125,500. The highest price that sold was $775,000. The average price of the homes that sold was $375,573. There were 11 homes that sold, and the sale to list price is 0 0.98, meaning to say the sellers on average got 98% of their list price. So that's not bad. And then number of days in the market is 112. So let me remind you, Guam is unique. Guam is a different animal. It takes about 45 to 75 days to close here on Guam. So the average days on the market, you just got to um, factor in that about 45 to 75 days of this was the house being in escrow. Okay. So here we go. Homes that sold this past week. Um, hold on one second. I just want to see something. Let me escape. I just want to see something on the, okay, here we go. So homes that sold this past week. Let's continue with that. Here we go. Cause we're going to dive deep into this. Okay. So sellers, I know you're very interested in this and I hope that you really find this information helpful. So there were 11 homes that sold, but what we're going to do today is we're just going to focus on four. Okay. Hold on one second. Let me pull up the, let me pull up the data here. Okay, so here we go. We are going to start from lowest to highest. So we're going to start here with Chalan Makanya in Sinahanya. Okay, so Sinahanya is located um, in the central part of the island. However, this is in the Makul School District. Okay, so when I say Makul School District, that is in the um, elementary school located in Big Navy. So if you, if your kids are going to school in Big Navy, not Guam High, okay? Um, not the high school, I'm talking about elementary school. If your kids are going to the elementary school in Big Navy, then Sinahanya is in that school district, okay? So here we go, this is a four bedroom, two bath, 1800 square feet. And it says here it was listed for 389. So when you go on the MLS uh, folks and you just see 389, this is only the list price. It doesn't actually disclose. You really won't know how much was the actual sale price. Okay. And you know, you, you're not going to see it unless you dig deeper or you have a great real estate agent that can give you that information or you stay tuned to me that gives you this information every week. So, this house in particular, oh, it's also for rent, but no, we were able to sell it, right? So it has a two bathroom home plus a flex room. So meaning to say it could be an office, it could be a gym, or it could be made into a bedroom. Uh, a dog friendly yard, fully fenced security system. And then it is a good location, like I had mentioned. And let's see what other details there are. Uh, again, 1800 square feet. It was built in 1995. Um, the lot size is 682. Okay, so again, it's a four bedroom. So I, I like that it's a four bedroom. It's a two bathroom. Uh, it is fee simple. Uh, I, we've discussed this before, fee simple versus leasehold. So fee simple, you own the building and the land that it's on. So um, roof, ceramic, ceramic, uh, concrete, you know, all of that. It has a covered porch, it says, and it has a covered patio. And we're, we'll see all of that in the pictures. The laundry, however, folks, is not inside the house. It is outside of the house. So um, typhoon shutters, um, four split ACs. And then here we go. What else do we have here? It has a carport. It has a security alarm, which we saw in the description. Okay. So here we go. I like this. So a lot of folks ask about taxes. Okay. So let me tell you what that house is. Okay. 
This one in Sinhanya was listed for 389,000. It sold for 389,000. So the seller got 100% of it, their asking price. Days on the market is 68. So this house moved pretty quickly because you know it's a fully fenced house and below 400,000, I think that is a very good price. Um, but here you go, because a lot of our, my buyers ask, how much is the property taxes on Guam? So here you go, $389,000. So let, let's do our computation. I have my math here. 389,000, right? And look at the property tax. It's 603.06. So let's let's do our math. 600, let me see, 603.06 divided by 389,000. Okay, I want you to see all these zeros. Can you see all that zeros? <laughs> that is like, we really have low property taxes here on Guam. It's like 0 0.006. So I'm telling you, it's like less than 2%, okay, to, to actually the taxes here on Guam. It's really low, okay? So here we, here we go. Let me, let me show you um, the pictures now. But folks, that's how that you already have an idea. 389,000 property tax. If that is accurate from the listing agent, from the selling agent, is only 603 and 60 cents. Uh, did I say that correctly? Something to that effect, still $600. So that's pretty cheap. So you can see this house, right? Uh, maybe the door needs to be changed, but nobody said it was built in 1985. So nobody said it was brand new. So nobody made promises. But look at these arch these arches here the kitchen okay stainless steel appliances other than the range hood right here this is an undermount sink okay let's see what else is there this must be what they were saying a flex room and these are the bathrooms here this is a bathroom with a single sink Okay, so we can see that this was the kitchen right here. It has a little extension of an island, so this would be the dining area. Okay, this is another bathroom. So it was a two, two bathrooms, right? So this must be the master bathroom right here. Okay, there's the kitchen again. Okay. So there's the carport, and here you can see here's the laundry, but you can easily enclose this it's not inside the house though but you can enclose this okay and there's that house folks so again 389,000 sold for 389,000 and what 60 some days on the market and it's all it, and it's a good size house that is 1800 square feet so that's a good that's a good size house so here we go this is the next one Okay, let me get the information for you. Okay, so here it says, it says 449. Okay, so actually the asking price, folks, listen to this, asking price was $465,000 and it sold for 449. What does that mean? It means that the seller got $16,000 lesser than asking the house was in the market for 188 days so longer than the average because what was their average earlier let me see let me see let me see what did i say our average was 112 so that one that was in 112 right it was how many days i said 188 days so is more than the average days on the market so where is this house located as you can see it is on the northern side of the island and on the north you will find the marine base and the anderson air force base so then of course it's logical to conclude that this house is in the anderson air force um, school district so let me drink my tea again. Okay, so this is three bedroom, two and a half bath, 1800, uh, 1800 square feet. We're gonna check that uh, picture uh, details in a bit. This is brand new folks, okay? It's brand new, fully fenced, single story home. So nice house. Okay, let's see what else is there. 
1884, uh, this was built in 2019. So it's, you know, it's 220, 2021, but you know, that this just means that it was built in 2019. And remember 2020, everything shut down and whoever bought this house is the first occupant of the house. Okay. So, um, lot size is 570 square meters. And it is in excellent condition, of course, because nobody's lived in it yet. And again, it is fee simple, concrete, porcelain. It has a covered porch. It is fully gated, okay? And it's public sewer. There is a laundry room inside the home as opposed to the one earlier where the laundry was outside. It has accordion shutters, four split ACs. It has a two covered carport. It has one ceiling fan, then the appliances included was a dryer, refrigerator, stove with oven, and washer. So sellers, look at this home. This sold for $449. Remember, the seller asked for $465 initially, but it sold for $449. So look at this, brand new appliances in Chalan Lamasu. So it's a carport as opposed to a two car covered garage. Okay, there's the kitchen. So it's still an open uh, open room concept where, you know, from the living room, you can see what's going on in the kitchen while you're cooking, you can see what your family's doing. And this is the laundry room with washer and dryer included. I like the whites. The white cabinets okay and this is the master bathroom because you can see the jetted truck the jetted tub and then the do uh, two vanities master closet okay and this is the covered porch that they said and that is the um See, because you can you can easily in oops you can enclose this, folks. Because look, this is where the uh, main entrance of the house is, the covered porch. So you can actually close that and make that a covered garage. Okay, and look at that; it is fully fenced, concrete and metal. Okay, and this is the neighborhood. Doesn't look like a bad neighborhood to me. Looks like a decent neighborhood. Decent neighborhood. Very good for sharing the neighborhood because you know that really helps too. Okay, so that home sold. Okay, next one. This one, this one is in Jotnya, located in Jotnya, and this is in the southern side of the island. Okay, so this is in the Makul School District. So let me tell you about this home. This was listed for 435. And then it's sold for four fifty-five. dollars So it's sold for $20,000 higher than asking. It was in the market for 103 days. And let me share another important detail here is I represented the buyer. I want to say that the seller's agent was such a great agent to work with. And I look forward to having more transactions with you. But let me tell you about this house. This house was um, owned by the VA. It was foreclosed at one time. And there were a lot a lot of offers on this house. There was a lot of interest on this house because this is a nice house. And when I show you in a bit, you'll see why it's so nice and why a lot of folks were bidding for this house. But if you want, if you, if you want to buy a house here in Guam and you want a strong negotiator and you want somebody to get you the home you want, then May I suggest you give me a call? <laughs> you give me a call because this is what I did for this client. So, asking price was 435, sold price was 455. So, it's $20,000 more than asking. Now, don't think, oh well, of course they got that that house because they they offered $20,000 than asking. No, it's not only about the price, folks. You got to think about the terms. So, there's 
price, there's terms, you know, the contingencies, um, about appraisals, inspections, the deadlines. And then what really helps too is, does you, is your realtor liked by the community? Is your realtor liked by the lenders? Is the realtor liked by the appraisers? Is your realtor liked by the inspectors? Is the realtor, is your realtor liked by other agents? It helps, it helps with your negotiation. It helps to make the process smoother. So let me tell you about this home. And if you have a home similar to this, know that it sold $20,000 higher than asking. So if, you're, if your home is nicer than this or compares to this, you can price it at 455. And if you use the 72 sold home selling system with me, I can get you prime dollar and we can talk about that more another time. So here we go. Let's look into this. It is a corner home with a view and the view is to die for. It is a, a two car covered garage, open floor space on both levels. Yep. It has ocean view. <sighs> it's, it's a nice house folks. And that's why I'm like, we, you know, my clients really liked it. And I said, okay, what are you willing to do? And they were willing to do what it took. You know, they, they listened to me, they listened to my advice and we got the home and guess what? Guess what? It appraised even higher. <laughs> it's a win for my buyers. So here we go. 2,100 square feet. The lot size is 581, four bedroom, two bath. It has a view of the ocean. It is in good condition. Even if it was a foreclosure at one point, it wasn't, uh, you know, it didn't fall into disrepair. It, di it does need a little bit of work, but not a whole lot. Okay, so concrete roof, ceramic tile, uh, covered uh, balcony and patio. Um, the fence is towards the back. It's not a fully fenced, but it is a neighborhood, and I'll show you that in a bit. Public sewer, um, it has a laundry room, accordion shutters, six split ACs. Um, it has a two-car covered garage, dishwasher, stove and oven are the appliances included. So let's look at the picture, shall we? Okay, hold on one second. Let me just look at this. Okay, all right. So there you go. So the fence is over here, okay? And then these are your neighbors that look like, you know, same, uh, it looks like your home. And here's the fence right here. So it's not fully fenced, but as you can see here, folks, there's the ocean again. There's the ocean already. Len Jackson is watching. Hello, Len. Those of you who are watching me live, thank you very much. Those of you who are watching me on replay, thank you. If you folks have any questions, just feel just feel free to type it down in the comments below and I will answer it. Um, I will answer it, okay? Maybe not right now, but I will answer it soon, okay? And then, oh, wow, uh, they have a water softener system right here. And then this is... Hi, Len Jackson. She said hello. And then right here, you know, this is the demarcation line from my buyer's property to the neighbor. But look, you can already see there's an ocean view. Okay. And then this is a long driveway here. So they can actually um, enclose that, uh, you know, put a roof, roof over here. And this could be a covered parking. They could. They don't have to. So then here, this is the open floor plan. That's the kitchen. Then right there is the dining area and then the living room. Okay, so this is the kitchen. Okay, and then the dining room. And then here is the living room. When you open all these windows, it has a lot of light. But best of all, you are you have the view of the ocean. Okay, this is one of the guest bathrooms, stand-up shower one of the bedrooms, all split ACs, all with ceiling fans, okay? And this is this huge open foyer on the second floor. So I love this foyer. And then the foyer leads out to the balcony where you see the view of the ocean. And then here is one of the bedrooms here, okay? And there's one of the bedrooms, okay? And this is the uh, bathroom upstairs with a tub and this is your master bedroom. Now this master bedroom shares the balcony from the foyer, okay? 
That's the master bedroom, master closet, master bathroom with a jetted tub, dual sink. Okay, and this is the laundry area, laundry room. Okay, and this one is the garage right here. It has another bathroom. Then it has, you know, this counter space to do some work. And this is the neighborhood, okay? This is the neighborhood. So there are similar houses here. And then here you go in the back, there are townhouses here that I put a lot of military, um, military clients. So anyway, so there you go. So that home sold for six, $20,000 higher than asking. So asking was 435, sold for 455, $20,000 higher than asking. It was in the market for 103 days and it's a house close to Navy. Okay, here we go. Next one. We're gonna go back. What happened? Okay. So then while, while we wait for that, I just need to check on something. Okay. What's taking a while? Okay, hold on, you guys. There you go. Here we go. So we did this, we did this, and this is the last one. Okay, so this one, folks, this is a house in Mangilao. Mangilao, I would say, is closer, like where this house is actually located. This is uh, more to the north, and this is in the Anderson School District. Okay, so let me tell you, this one was listed for 548, closed for 548. Okay, it was only in the market for 55 days, so that is like record timing closing. I probably know who the lender is because only this lender, unless they pay cash, only this other lender can close quickly. And if you want to know who that lender is and you want to pre-qualify with them, give me a call because I will let you know who that lender is. So here we go. Let's look at this house. So this is in the Anderson School District. Again, it is a beautiful, spacious four-bedroom, three-bath home, just minutes from Anderson and the uh, Marine Base, obviously. Double ovens. You know, so all of that text. I like pictures more than I do text, to be honest. <laughs> How big is it? It's 2,500 square feet, 2009, uh, built in 2009. How big is the lot size? 1,858. Okay, it, you have a view of the neighborhood. Now, I don't know why you would say excellent if it was built in 2009, unless does it say that it's fully renovated? No, it is not. So I don't know why it says excellent because usually I would only say excellent if it's a brand new house or it's been fully gutted out and renovated. So concrete roof, concrete construction, ceramic tiles. It is a covered patio. Um, it doesn't say it's fully fenced, but it has a fence in the rear. This is a septic tank as opposed to a public sewer. If you want to know what the difference is, I mean, and what is the advantage or disadvantage, um, you know, that is a discussion for another time. Okay, so laundry room and then accordion shutters, five split ACs, and then uh, it has two uncovered parking and two covered parking, which is the covered garage. Okay, it has seven ceiling fans. What else do we have here? Oh, my battery is about to die. <clears throat> Hold on. Got to plug it one second. Are you plugged? Hold on one minute. Yes, it is plugged. Okay. So seven ceiling fans, appliances included, dishwasher, dryer, microwave, uh, range hood, refrigerator, stove with oven, washer. Did it say dryer? Yes, it did. Okay. So then let us look at let me see if anybody said hello. Last one was Len Jackson. So again, anybody who is joining me live here, thank you very much either here on Facebook or on YouTube. Thank you very much for joining me. Those watching me on replay, feel free to, thank you also for watching me, but if you have any questions, please feel free to message us. Ooh, I like, is that a fence? No, it's not a fence. It's just a really big yard. 
That is a huge yard, guys. Look at that. And all the details here in the corners. Nice, right? And then a concrete sidewalk. Okay, and yes, they said they did, you know, disclose that there is a uh, fence in the back. So there is a little bit of fencing here, uh, chain link on the side. And then that one is, you know, uh, your patio in the back. It's a back patio and it's a covered back patio. Now you can look at these details here of the roof. Okay, and then this is the kitchen. Backsplash white cabinet. Oh, no, they're not even white cabinets, just a light oak um, cabinetry and dark, dark countertops. But look at the setup of this kitchen. There's so much counter space. Very nice. Okay, and then this is the laundry area, laundry room. Whoa, look at that door. It looks like from medieval times, don't you think? Like somewhere in a castle. <laughs> I like those arch arches over there. What is this though, right here? What is that? Let's go back. Can we see what that is? It doesn't show here, right? But on the next picture, what is that? What is that? Anyway, maybe it's just a picture. And look how big this is. Wow, that is nice. It's huge, so much space. Looks like a like a dance studio, doesn't it? <laughs> I like it. Okay, and you have like a little nook here, but then you can have this this area here for your dining area. Then plus you still have this, um, you know, the 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 counter, the island, so that you guys can sit over there to eat. Ooh, cool, nice bathrooms. I like because it's so light, you know, the colors are light. Okay, I like um, the boards, the floorboards here matches the actual floor tiles. Split ACs, nice tub. Okay, then here's the layout, the house. It's just too bad. It's it's dead. It's indebted. Oh, a lot of nice houses are indebted. Oh, I mean, not that I, there are a lot of nice houses in the south, but there's not a lot of homes for sale in the south. You know, <laughs> and that's good if you're a seller because if you sell something in the south, it'll move. <laughs> it'll move, you guys, because their inventory in the south is low. So those are the homes that sold this past week. 